Hello, welcome to my channel. This is BK Ojomo. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sew this long maxi dress using the pattern that I drafted in one of my previous video on how to draft a knit top. I'll put the link below. I'm using three yards and a quarter fabric based on the length of my dress. I'm five foot six and that's the amount I needed. So here is a fabric. I'm placing it on fold. And um, I'm going to fold it again into four, like so. Make sure you're working on the stretchy part of the knit and not the other, other way around. So grab the pattern, paper, and um, put it on the fabric, like so. Align it to the folded part of the fabric. So I want the, my, the neck of my fabric to be a little bit wide and also the back. So I'm going to use the same measurement for the front of my fabric, also for the back of my fabric. So I'm going to cut the neck at once. So which means I'll be using just the front pattern for this tutorial.
I'm going to cut out just a little curve at the side, like so. Here is what it looks like after I got done cutting it out. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the sleeves using the same sleeve pattern that I have on that tutorial I made previously. So use that same pattern to cut the sleeve so you can shorten or lengthen the sleeve length. I also cut the sleeves on fold. Grab your bodice um, with right side together place it on each other then go and sew the shoulders with half inch seam allowance so here is a shoulder already sewn together and I also went ahead to finish the edges with the serger so here is the shoulders together so I'm trying to attach the sleeve to the bodice here so grab your sleeve and um, place it on the bodice on the bodice with the right side facing each other. I did clip a little clip in the middle of the sleeve so it could be easy for me to identify the the middle of the of the sleeve. So I'm placing that middle of the sleeve on the shoulder line that I just finished sewing. So grab some paints and pin them together and once you're done pinning it together take it to the machine and sew it at half an inch seam allowance Go ahead and attach the sleeve to the bodice. Take it to, to the machine and sew it with half an inch seam allowance. I have finished sewing it here and I've also finished the, the edges of the seam. So once you're done with the two sides attaching the, um, the sleeve to the bodice, then you're going to have to close it all out. So you go ahead and lay flat. Make sure you align the lines of the sleeve. Uh, you can go ahead and pin it right there. Then pin the remaining side of the sleeve together. And you're also going to go ahead and pin the side seam of the bodies together once you're done pinning the sleeves. Take it to the machine and sew the seam with half an inch seam allowance all the way from the from the sleeve to the bodice. So here is the finished seam, side seam. I've stitched everything from the sleeve to the bodice all the way down. And I've also finished the edges too. So you're almost done at this point. So you go ahead and turn in the hem of the sleeve. But before I did that, I did finish the edge of the edges of the sleeve. So you're gonna turn it at three quarter of an inch and just sew a straight stitch on it all the way around. We're going to do the same thing to the bottom of the dress, which is the hem of a dress. So before I did, I went ahead and I finished the edges. Then I'm gonna turn it in at uh, 
one inch seam allowance here is the finished sleeves and also the hem of the dress so go ahead and iron it flat now we're gonna move to the neck so before I I've already gone ahead to um, to finish the edges with the serger so here's what we're gonna do so we're gonna just turn it in half an inch or three quarter of an inch then go ahead and sew it all around Here is the finished neck and um, here, there it is that's the end of the video today thanks for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button see you in the next video and remember stay blessed and have fun. Bye bye for now.